but I'm really nervous about going live today. I was feeling, I'm feeling strangely uh, insecure today. And I think it probably has to do with the fact that I've been in some serious freaking pain for the last couple of weeks. Um, I do see the doctor um, in two days. So hopefully they'll be able to, to help me out. But until then, I apologize if I'm having trouble speaking or forming words or whatever. Because it's just, I, I'm just not able to really cope right now. So I'm doing stupid things and I'm not really advertising that I'm streaming right now because I think it's a little easier sometimes if I don't tell anyone. <laughs> I can ease into it. But um, I don't know why I have this and I don't know why I'm putting it down. Um, so I can get rid of these because these are not... Okay, this one I need to keep because it's not, uh, it's crown. This one I should probably keep. Juniper trees. I know I was looking for pine trees for a minute. All right, what does that leave me? Saplings. That's a pretty sapling. Keep that sapling. Actually, these are all the nice saplings. Anyway. So yeah, I'm just organizing my inventory here to how did that get is this in every room in every building um so yeah i'm gonna go drop this stuff off actually i should probably make sure i'm actually streaming i'm hoping that nobody drops off people into me because i am not feeling it okay so today is going to be a kind of quiet, hopefully, day. You know, I started out with the with building this morning, trying to get into the mood so that I would be able to show you guys some of me building in progress, but I really hate the build that I'm making. So it's, uh, it's the parade one, and I just haven't been feeling contests lately, like for some reason. Um, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure why it's been like this. Yeah, okay, so this Aeon Stone formation can go in every house. That's interesting. So this is where I store all the stuff that I am going to sell or give away. Like to people who follow me. Or um, sometimes I just like store stuff for selling here. Um, I don't know why I have that. Okay. All right. I haven't even told anyone in Discord because I'm just weird. Um, so I'm sure you guys know that, well, maybe you don't know, but EU is down again. Isn't that lovely? Typical. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just put the stupid stick in here. It fits, doesn't it? There we go. Here's a stick. Now, if I ever need one, I can go look for it. Okay. I hope you guys can hear the music. Um, so, I was going to show you some other houses, but I think I'm going to start with my own. What I want to do is kind of tell you some tricks that I did so that you can do them too. So, I should probably just suck it up and post in Discord. You ever just have an off day where you just don't feel like you're, I don't know, just like you don't feel like you're doing your best. But I think part of it is, is I had only one cup of coffee. So who knows, maybe it, if I have more coffee, I'll feel a little better, but it could just be that I'm not healthy or whatever, but whatever it is, I'm definitely off. Streaming info. I'm the only one who seems to do this in some of my channel, um, some of my guilds. And I feel kind of guilty about that, but whatever. I do different kind of stuff than most peeps. I do more like housing than anyone I 
I'm aware of. It might be noisy out there. So this is my Dawn Shadow and uh, Manlin. Might ring the doorbell, I don't know. So this is my Dawn Shadow. And this is a really underrated house. You can really do a lot with this nice yard. Houses without yards aren't very good. Uh, I've shown you this house before, but I, I really wanna focus. Okay, he just walked away. Um, I really wanna focus on the idea of tricks. So here's a trick for you. Um, aside from the dirt, which is essential housing tools. These are upside down um, Bosmer bladders stuck into the ground to look like dirt. And I think it works because when you're planting things, like sometimes you have a mound around the, the thing that you're looking at. Yeah, I think it helps looking a little more realistic. And then here's um, some grapes. I think if you're gonna do a grapevine, it really, this is a really clever thing that you can do. You can, um, this I got from somebody else, I forget who. But you just can, you know, use the the, the trellis, put some regular ivy on it, and then stick a bunch of grapes on it. And there you have a vineyard, or at least some vines growing. So this is just um, cobbles and things I've sunk into the ground and things. Um, I actually don't remember where all of them are, so we may have a little digging to do. Um, so this is the interior of my Dawn Shadow. It's really gaudy, it's supposed to be. It's based on the characters. And um, <clears throat> I'm okay with that. I'm gonna try to relax a little bit. I'm a little anxious for some reason. As you know, you can use these Alinori fountains for either toilets or for sinks or whatever you wanna pretend that they are. And they really work. And then this was something I was showing somebody else yesterday. People were talking about makeup. Like, how do you do makeup and jewelry on a, on a desk? Well, it's actually fairly simple. You just sink bottles in, or you could just use an alchemy bottle. And then over here on a plate, I have, these are cups, and that that is actually slightly off, and it's always driven me kind of crazy, but it's hard to select. See? Gotcha. All right, so, this is obviously, oh, I see why it was off, huh. I did that on purpose, I guess. Oh, well. Mm. There, that's better. Um, so you just sink in, in that case, that was a quill, uh, an ink stand. This is the, these are just cups. Now they're bracelets, you know sunk it into the ground and I've seen other people do it and they've done a you know people have gotten really creative making jewelry like that this is these are the blood vials that you can get and they're supposed to be lipsticks but these are the blood vials you can get from uh turning in quests for the un what is that lady called the unknown or something like that um she's the one that the thieves guild will give you every day you get a little bit bequeather that's who it is and she bequeaths you things and occasionally you can get these which are bind on a quip which are blood blood vials and i just hung on to them until i had enough to just make it look like lipstick so that's a little trick you can use um i'm not going to talk about eht types of tricks because those are fairly obvious um and i talk about them all the time but i can always talk about them in another episode but i think Today, let's just talk about cobbles and little things and we can see some of my houses while we do it. And, oh, here, I know this one has one. I may end up redoing some of these houses because I need, I'm running out of space for, for housing that isn't, you know, I don't wanna drop another $100 in real life on buying a house so they can just deal with it. So what I've been doing is closing off portions of my existing builds and then building in the other half. So like I did that in Sijic where I I actually ended up taking apart the original build, but that doesn't matter. I left it as a crazy Sheogarath build and on the other side of it was a um, 
is my bonsai garden. So it's like both bills are still alive in there. So here we go. Okay, this is was a Valentine's Day build. And what I did here was, is that at the time, and I guess we still don't have Mara's uh, stuff for Valentine's Day. We don't have the new petals that are coming our way. So these are grandmother hibiscus that you can buy from a regular furnishing vendor. And I sunk them into the ground. So they look like someone's dropped roses or petals leading you up the stairs, you know, like a little romantic gesture kind of thing. Um, if I was smart, I did. Okay, I was smart. If you put a plank or something over this stairway downstairs and then just put a rug over that, this is really easy to hide. There is a basement in this house and it's the stupidest basement ever. So don't, don't bother with it. Look at that. That freaking moved on me. That was perfect. I'm so tired of furnishings move. They fucking move all, <laughs> excuse me, the F-bomb, but they've been moving like crazy lately and people are really complaining about it because you can work so super hard to get something to be just lined up perfectly and then have it be ruined like that. It's really annoying. So here, more, more of the grandmother hibiscus. And like I said, you know, using this as a planter is, is a great idea. Using the, uh, the red guard seeding as a planter. It's very smart. So those, those were the cobbles. This is just a stairway up to the top level here. Uh, another cobble. These are two Eleanori trays. That's a Dres lamp. And if you just place them just right, they make a two tier sort of, um, wow, that was good, Kara. They make a two tier plate that you can show things off on. I actually kind of like it being quiet this morning. I don't think I cobbled anything in Eleanor. I think I did in Autumnscape. We'll see. But I know I didn't. Oh, yeah, I did in Autumnscape. But... So it's just the idea is this was kind of inspired by a house I'm going to show you in a few, which is, excuse me, Chrysia's house. And she did the most amazing cobbles in that house. I hear noise might be cat and those cobbles included she made a whole lapis lazuli floor I didn't even know you could do it but when she explained how she did it it was so detailed that I couldn't help but feel like it would have been beyond anything I could do with with my limitations so who knows so here we are in um this is my uh, fairy, Grimm's Fairy Tales, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I wrote this for a, telling a story is, is the house name. Now, um, I'll show you, there's a couple of cobbles in here. First of all, I, and I'm calling them cobbles, but sometimes it's just as simple as sink, sinking something into the walls. This is the same Eleanor fountain and you put a dwarven uh, pipe end here and you've got a sink. And so that just fits right into the wall. So it looks like it's part of it. If I was really going to get fancy, I would have a backsplash. But this house is, was kind of a, on, a, on the simple side. And I was okay with that. As you can see, um, the bears are played by live bears. <laughs> live. So they are, the baby bear is a pet. But these two are mounts. And all I did was sink them into the beds. I guess it's pretty obvious. And then... Um, this, I was looking for a broken chair, and the best I could do for a broken chair is I use that broken um, cart, and then I sunk most of it into the ground. And obviously, I've shown you this before, this is just the grasping grave. I sunk it into a cabinet. And I think that's it for cobbles and whatnot. Oh, and then this was just my version of a ewer or a sink. It's not really, you know, plumbed but it's, it would be something you would fill up and then just put on the stand. But it's one of those Daedric bowls with water in them. They are uh, lux items and they come around every so often. You can pick a bunch of them up. And I, I would recommend you do because they're super useful in a lot of different situations. I've used them in a, in a bunch of builds actually. I don't know if barbed hook is the one I have it in. I don't think so. 
I'm not sure about Black Vine Villa. Oh, Boulder Tree, I definitely do. Um, some of these are ones that I'm just ashamed to even show you. So, you know, these are later builds. And you shouldn't worry about it if you feel like yours are not as good. And, and definitely if you think yours are better, you're probably right right now. Because I'm just having, you know, I've slowed down a lot. I was doing, wow, nobody. That's really unusual. I wonder what's going on. Um, I've slowed down a lot. I used to do so many more. Uh, but here, here is my uh, boulder tree. And what this was supposed to be is an orc attack by, by orcs, obviously, on Bosmer. So wood orcs are evil. <laughs> So what I did is I saw all of these fires that you see, none of these are EHD. These are just braziers and, and stuff that like sunk into the ground. So it looks like things are on fire. Really simple. That's just storage. Ignore that. That really simple, easy to do. Just sink lights into the floor. Like that's annoying. It, that is annoying. Check that out. You know, it's like I had it right and things are just doing moving um forget it works well enough but things are just moving hey ronnie um it's just annoying because it's i've seen people all on the forums complaining about it things move and it's gotten really bad lately i mean i'll walk into a home and suddenly an entire wall is screwed up and you know i didn't leave it like this yeah, Nana, I just don't have a lot of people on. It is live, though. I, uh, it's not Memorax. <laughs> it's just me. I'm just tired and not feeling well today, but I wanted to talk to you guys anyway. Um, so I was showing off things that were cobbled together to make them look like other things. And, uh, so I was showing off the fires. If you wanted like a raging escaped fire, all you do is you sink braziers into the ground. Oh, no. Yesterday, I wasn't, I don't know. I'm just not feeling good. Um, something's wrong with me and I don't know what it is. And it's, it's causing a lot of pain. So I'm not doing well. Um, I think uh, whatever infection they found... Infections tend to make my arthritis kick up. And it's hard to be cheerful <laughs> when you're in a lot of pain. And I'm not taking any meds today. I mean, I'm not taking any Vicodin. Yesterday I was on two Vicodin. And I just don't want to take any more because I get nervous, you know. I don't I don't like taking drugs a lot. But this is, yes, if, if the music is too loud, if you hear the music at all, let me know and I'll turn it off. Um... So I'm just quickly going through combinations. Oh, you're so sweet. Um, but then I'll show you other people's houses. I, I just wanted to quickly deal with... Um, actually, you know what? Let's just skip over to other people's houses because I know I've shown you guys this before. It's fine when there's nobody in the channel, but when there's people in the channel, it's, it's embarrassing. So I know Polaria Nightshade is actually... Um, in one of my she actually she or he actually uh ran me through a dungeon the other day which if you know me you know there's a reason why my name is potato it's because i don't do dungeons i'm scared of them i hate them whatever but what what they did is they drag you know uh delicia dragged them dragged me into it and i i only went along because it's the only way to get two furnishings that I really, really want. You know, all of those blue glowy plants, I desperately wanted those. And then the Meridia ball that puffs out light. No other way to get those. And those are, those are pretty awesome items that I would really like. So, yes, I'm live. Hey, dupes. Um, 
So this is Polaria Nightshape's house, and I wrote down that this was a Khajiiti Bazaar, but this does not look like a Khajiiti, Khajiiti Bazaar to me anymore. So I think Polaria Nightshade may have changed things, or maybe not. Maybe that was just the way in. So this is Polaria Nightshade, 343 out of 400 items. And I think this was her entry in the Khajiit contest um, for J-Heart that he did. I really like that. But it, it was supposed to be like, I think it's just really cool the way that she made, she, I think, made all, you know, here's a light store and here they're selling uh, weaponry and, oh, look at that. Look at how smart that is. That looks really cool. Huh. Um, I, I didn't even remember that. And then over here, you've got different kinds of stores. And I like the little touches, like money sitting on the counter. What's funny is there actually is not in the, okay, so there is a cart like this carrying a Tanzel Will stone, but this it's in a different direction. It's like laying down, it's not sticking up. But that actually does sort of exist. And I bet you that this was lined up properly and not coming through the cart. But like I said, everything is moving. There are all sorts of errors in homes that didn't have errors and it's driving me nuts. All these banners. This one has Dominion banners. Buy your banners in this one, right? That would be a nice way to have all the... You know, this is a way to deal with all the extra Lux furnishings that you bought until you need them for other places. Make it into a store. Make it look like, you know, you're selling them and then you, you have them whenever you want. <laughs> anyway. It's just a really smart way to, to do it. And someone should tell Jay Hart that he should he should make his storage. Actually, he doesn't store anything in, in homes. He stores it in banks. He's crazy. And he buys so much. Um, it's craziness. At food shop. You know, I was buying some of these because I did, uh, my cornucopia was, was sweet stuff. These are really inexpensive. I think they're like 500 gold for a stack of sweet rolls. Absolutely, like so cheap. But yeah. Just DC on ESO and wants me to repair the updated things, which move. I, if I were you, I'd just close out of Steam or whatever you're using and then come fully back in um, before you you repair anything because sometimes I've found that that it can make things worse. Um, you could have lost connection for a second or something and then it reads it as if it's broken. I just would give it a shot. So this is what I was talking about is uh, just storage houses, man. This is, oh, this is all the lofty. So I'm going to go one of each kinds of different house for, cause I'm, whatever i'm in pain might as well all right okay i'm gonna show you this one marrow 977 and this is their alinor and the reason why i want to show you this is because if it's the same this person hung their paintings perfectly i don't know if they used eht or what marrow 977 but they're at the exact proper height um it's just amazing really I was really jealous. Oh, God, guys. This is rough. I don't know. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to tolerate this level of pain. It's making it difficult for me to think. But, oh, well. My cat's still alive, so there's that. You know, he's hanging on. He is one tough mother. Yeah, they may have used grids, but what what I liked about it is that, um, you know, that rule that that art's supposed to be at eye, like eye level um, so that you can see it in your own home. Well, they seem to have applied it in a way that like looks like that. If you could imagine a character being a certain height, see what I mean? Everything looks really perfect.
Like, I can't even figure out why it looks perfect. But nobody hangs photo paintings like this. And yet, this person did, and it looks perfect. You know what I mean? Maybe because it's so much lower than the way that most people hang things. It almost looks like a museum. I can't figure it out. I don't think they use EHT because look, they're not, they're not 100% flat. Like this one seems to be out a little bit, but I don't know. I want him to, I want this guy to come and, or girl and whoever it is, come and freaking do my paintings because it, it, this is really nice. It, 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 it's not something I normally notice either, but I noticed it here because it's just so well done. Like, come to hang all of my art. <laughs> In my house, too. <laughs> my real life house. And I don't think they even finished the build because you can see things are just sort of tossed where they wanted to go. I bet you they spent so much time. Oh, look at that. That is so fun. So much fun. Sorry, grammar. Yeah, no, I bet you what happened is they spent so much time getting everything hung perfectly that they just gave up. <laughs> you know, it's like, I'm over it. <laughs> Can't do anymore. I did the paintings, it's enough. Um, so that's what I was thinking is, is it just cracks me up. But this is a really good um, example and something that I would like to copy personally. So let's go to an Amaya. And we'll go to a Tanis. I don't remember what this is. It says something about a grotto, which would be really strange in a Namaya. So who knows? And then after that, we should probably go see Tawantel's uh, meadow because he, I promised the guy that we would go look at Tawantel's meadow. Or maybe I should wait until he comes on. But I want to thank Ikuta, Jason the Verb, Zira, Wednesday Morning, Plagal Cadence, all of you for following. And uh, it's really, I really appreciate it because that's all I want. Maybe those paintings are moved forward to match the large paintings which can't align with the wall perfectly because of the freeze legs. It's possible. Whatever it is, they're, they may not be flat against the wall, but they're definitely hung in what looks like perfect ways. So I wrote down grotto, deck, red room, bathroom. Not sure what all that means. Okay. Oh, well, this would be the grotto. Okay, so, you know, I, Maya comes with this little pond type thing. And I think that you can do some fun things with it. I think, I love when people put stuff floating in water, lights floating in water. It's just such a nice touch. Okay, so there's some EHT like fairy dust going around in here. And it's just a cute little grotto and I like it. And I'm assuming these are supposed to be or are where you come out and sun yourself when the sun's on it. I should take notes for myself. Uh, at Tanis, A-T-T-A-N-I-S on N-A. And this is um, the little storage house on the side. And it seems this is a bathhouse. And it's really kind of clever. Look at that. Land made a sauna. And all you have to do is, is bury some incense and you've got a sauna. But this one is fairly accurate because it's got wooden walls. And I think that's the way the Nords do it if I'm right. Oh, and here's one for Argonians, I suppose. They have to separate them, you know, because <laughs> you wouldn't want your farm tools in the same place that you have your people, right? Just kidding, just kidding. Um, so yeah, dressing room. Okay, so this is a cute place. And 
I wish I took better notes because when I take notes for Jay Hart, what I do is I, I send them, I send them to him at ahead of time. And I say things like, you know, don't waste your time going into this tower because it's empty or something. But then I don't save, you know, I don't do the same thing for myself. And I don't know why I do that. This seems to be like a little Argonians would simply make the room too moist for others to bear. It's true. Um, but this seems to be just an outdoor hangout section. Not really sure. You know, a lot of people were talking about building a little house inside these. I haven't seen anyone do it yet, but it'd be really interesting if someone could. You know, you'd have to scoot everything in, like push it forward. It would Nothing would be able to be built from the inside. I don't even think you can go in there. So this is the outside. Somebody really modified this house. Now, this is the orc version of these, but they, these are, yes. But these are the orc um, cabinets, and I love the way that they look, but there is also an Argonian one if you prefer Argonians. And here's, uh, here's a clever trick. They sunk in the dwarven, um, the dwarven fountain. But because they didn't want the Dwarven Fountain's face, you know, it has a face on it, they sunk it in further and then just used a, a pot upside down to be, you know, the faucet area, I guess. So they must not have really liked the, the way that the Dwarven Fountain looked, which I'm not a fan of it either. But this is always fun when you put pots and pans in the water uh, to make it look like you're washing things or cooking or whatnot. So, yeah. This is pretty. Lots of clever ideas. Oh, red room. Okay, so this was the note to myself to remind myself that I really liked how they made this just really red. They went with a color and they carried it through. The floor is my favorite. It's the Breton carpet that you can basically carpet anything with because it's so huge. And then um, they just put carpets over it, the red carpets over it here and here. So you can layer carpets and it actually looks good in this game. Uh, but then they carry the red through. They have red lighting. Uh, I don't see it, but I think it's sunken. Sunken red lights. And then they've got, you know, the, the typical ivy and the curtains and all of the other red items in the game here. And using the, the brass, I think, in the background even reflects the red even more. Here's your red. I just think this is really smart. Um, it looks really cool. I mean, they just picked a color and they didn't overdo it. That's the thing. It doesn't look haphazard. It looks chosen very carefully. Yes, they do. I think it looks great. Um, that's probably why I wrote this down. Check it out. I've never seen anybody actually do that. They built a bathroom behind the stairs in here. Usually this is just empty, wasted space. This is smart. Oh, that's gotta be EHT. Okay. So <laughs> the toilet is two of these little seats, one of them sunken into the wall and then an EHT circle on it, which is funny. Um, I love, I love me some bathrooms, so I'm the last one to complain, but I think it's smart to use this back room because it's just such wasted space that I, I don't get it. It's poorly designed in terms of, um, in terms of just this house design, not anything that anyone did. I know, this is the upstairs bedroom. They're carrying the red through a little bit, but I have a feeling that they hit their 600 out of 600 items before they got to the second floor. So that's, that's a problem. Um, a little office area over here and just looking up lots of ivy hey delicia um yeah they ran out of item space you can totally tell as they go higher and they get less less detailed it's funny oh, sorry guys the pain is just so bad funky play that funky music funky so this is that upstairs extra bedroom that they have and, and really the showstopper is that first front room. 
that I first read room, that's pretty much the best room of the house. Um, but this is a really cool house and I'm glad I showed it to you. We're going through um, one of each kind of things. Okay. I don't want to show you that one. I'll show you. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. let's do were for their ample and I wrote completely redone and this might give you ideas for you know if you're if you're currently working on a house it might be a, it might be good for you to see what someone else did with it oh my lord you see this I don't have the patience for this today, man. Thank you, Delisha. I appreciate it. What is going on? Do you guys, I'm having so much trouble with this. Okay. Do not get stupid on me. Do not. All right. Get rid of that. I don't get why you're so stupid. What did I say? It was just the ample domicile. And this is entirely redone. Yeah, I don't usually put my hair up. No. No patch yet. I mean, I guess I had it this morning. The normal. They had that little mini patch. Um, I don't think there's been. Maybe there's been one since then. I don't actually know. God, the pain. I may have to take something. Okay, so this is um, WHRR, W-H-R-R, and this is their ample domicile, which is almost rec unrecognizable. If if you're anybody who testing on live servers, ESO has been wonky the last few days. Yeah, no, it has been. Um, so yeah, this is entirely redone because if you if you know Ample, it's a typical mud house. It's just a, you know, it was funny because the real war hamster was looking at it this morning, and in fact, and he said, "Well, you can have a dung house," and I was like, "Pretty much, pretty much what she got right there." <laughs> so let me just do a shout out for hamster. This is uh, the Ample Domicile. It's one of the mud homes. So, yeah, they completely redid it. There's no more mud home. They built over it. Um, so here's the downstairs portion where this is usually... Here's the little lake in here that they have. They completely redid everything. Just This would be the mud home right here. They covered it with hedges. And then they, re, they just added some of those limestone corners to sort of make things look smooth instead of that jagged broken look which is what it is um added some real fencing as opposed to what it normally has which is this and uh hit a whole lot of stuff very well and then we'll go in the house nope can't go in the house okay so they did use it all of their item slots outside so 318 out of 400. And then they built all of this, which is completely, as you know, not here. None of this is here. This is just basically a freestanding structure that has nothing to do with the underlying house. And, it's, it, it, and it really capitalizes on some incredible views that you otherwise wouldn't be able to see at all in this house. It totally puts my house to shame. I have ample domicile and I can show it to you sometime, but it's just a glow house. And you know, all of my glowy plants in one place, this house, pff, this house blows it away. It's probably the best ample I've ever seen. I mean, it's, it's pretty amazing. Totally turned it into something beautiful taking a, a mud dung hole and turning it into something beautiful it's really incredible 
actually, I will show you just real quick because I want you to be able to compare what it normally looks like than what this looks like. We won't stay long, but I do like you can build up pretty high so you can completely change what it looks like. And I've seen a lot of people turn it into other things because it's, it's not an attractive house. Sorry if I'm not, my patter isn't so good today. Just not feeling good. All right, here we go. This is mine. This is my ample domicile. Granted, I added a lot of trees and um, stuff like that. And Delisha, look at that. Look at what I have now. <laughs> that is Wurr's, that was Wurr's house. It's W-H-R-R. And it is on NA. Uh, Were is super talented and all of their homes are amazing. And I believe it's an open house, so you can just go there. So this was, uh, check it out, my blue. I just got this because Delisha and, and the real War Hamster dragged my butt through, and Tawantle dragged me through uh, two, two of the different dungeons so that I could get my blue stuff and other items. So I'm super happy and I came right here and I put it all in. I'm like, oh, I know where this needs to go. So, but this is what the house normally looks like. It looks like this dung hole. And compare that to what you just saw. It's unbelievable how different it is. It's just crazy. So I really, I really like the, the, what word did there. Thanks. Um, anytime. I mean, that's what I'm here for. And if any of you want a shout out, just tell me or just do it because I'm cool with it. I want you guys to to be able to pro push yourself. Thanks, Anna. It was it was that was the goal was to have a I wanted to have a fun one like that. So let's go to Tierna's Autumn's Gate. I think I've talked about Tierna's Autumn's Gate before, but I don't think I've ever shown it to you. And the reason why I like it, and we're just going down the homes. The reason why I like it is because it's, um, I know that it, at very least I remember the chicken coop. Chicken coop in Tierna's home is so cool. Um, so yeah, this morning I forced myself to do some real world, like real world work so that I, I didn't feel like I should let myself hang out and do this until I finished some, some real work, no matter how crappy I feel. Yes, there is a chicken coop, a very smart chicken coop. There you go. Now that is partially EHT, but not completely. You could build this. You could totally build that with no EHT. But it's even cuter with EHT. Yeah. So basically it's a crate, one of those crates, and then just one of those uh, posts. I mean, I think the whole thing would cost you maybe 300 gold if, you know? I just love it. It's the cutest thing. And then she built one of these that's just a pigsty. But a lot of those piggies ain't real. Piggies ain't real. <laughs> But I loved this house because it's so cute. It's a really good use of EHT. It's not like overdone or super phony looking or anything. I mean, the chicken coop is adorable, especially. And you go inside. Wow, something loud is coming down the street. I don't know what. Anyway, so this is the interior of Autumn's Gate. We looked at my Autumn's Gate this morning. If you were on, you probably weren't, but it was the three bears. So this looks very different. She reskinned the entire interior and I don't, I mean, this is what it normally looks like. And then she reskinned it with, with EHT. So she's got some really nice dark oak look going on and carried it through the walls with like a chocolate. I think it's really pretty. And that's EHT also. So we're, oh, check out those plate stackings. I don't even know how she did that because the reality is with, with EHT sometimes, if you layer images, they're so, they flicker out, but these aren't flickering out at all. They're just looking stacked. 
So that's some massive talent. And uh, to be honest with you, I don't know how she managed it. But she definitely, I can see tons of EHD everywhere. And it's just really well done and really pretty and not too much. And then she built this oven or stove. Check it out. It's, it's just a fireplace and one of those fire grates. Isn't that amazing? And then she built a fireplace, I mean, a stove around it, and it looks great. But even without it, it's kind of funny. But yeah, this is really beautiful. Um, oh, and, and they, okay, I did this too. I had one of these kind of wedding lanterns like this, where it looks like a normal floor lamp or a desk lamp or something like that. You can really do some fun things with those wedding lanterns. And the other thing here is she put a bunch of EHT things on the shelves. So even if you don't, like that, that is a perfect bookshelf. I mean, a book, book holder, book stand, book, bookend. I got it, bookend. That's a great bookend. And it looks like it belongs. So I like it. And then this is the usual two beds put on an angle with one another to make another couch. So that's always fun. Yeah, the geode looks looks really natural there. And so they have, a, this is, I guess, where the treasure ended up. Every, it's always interesting to see where the treasure ends up. Yeah, the couch is really good. Oh, and the back of the couch is done redone with EHT. That's a uh, bark texture, but you see, so that was redone too. And then they made a second floor, which this does not normally have a second floor. And here's one of the, I love this when people do this with EHT. I wasn't really gonna focus on EHT today, but this is so smart. I love the, the candles, like the flowers around the candles. Those are actually trees in EHT, but it looks great. And then um, all the little clutter, you know, necklaces bracelets earrings you know all that kind of stuff just i love the clutter and it looks right it looks like it belongs so this is a really just a really cute house and that's barbed okay so let's go to um a non ehte barbed hook In my husband's home, I'm gonna have coffee soon. Yay! <laughs> he comes home for lunch. And oh my God, do I need coffee today. I'm in so much pain. Bitter Willows Barbed Hook. So yeah. You know, I was watching Ninja Monkey the other day and I totally didn't realize that there's another whole realm of builders that I have absolutely no contact with before. And the only reason why I was even watching it was because uh, Hammy wasn't on in the real war hamster. And I couldn't believe it. And he's showing all these uh, very ambitious builds and, you know, large builds. And I was really surprised because I hadn't run into any of them before. And I uh, thought that was interesting. So this is Bitter Willow. I forget what this was for, but this was for a contest, I think. And what I loved about it, I think this was for one of our contests in DDA. And I loved this mushroom log. Check that out. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, I don't know if you know, but mushroom mushrooms, actually some of them, shiitake in particular, do grow from rotten logs. And if you wanna grow them in your home, own home, they actually get, sell you a rotten log to, to grow them in. And you just, I was trying to find the El Clave. Yeah, um, you're right, except take out the K. Otherwise, the, na the spelling is correct. Um, so yeah, this is just really cute because this is actually how it would look. And I just love that they did this with it. Yeah, Springy's got it. And this is just really pretty. And then there's a second floor. Who knew, right? How they put a second floor in the, in the barbed hook that's third floor too. Three floors in the barbed hook. If you have coffee, please bring it in. 
So yeah, three floors. That's amazing. Absolutely. I'm just blown away. So that's Bitter Willow. And that is, that is their barbed hook. Uh, let us look at Hammy. Thank you, Hammy. I appreciate it. I was just showing people houses. Uh, have a good one today, Hammy. Uh, hey everyone, I do housing. I watch housing. Hey, good to see you. I'm just touring houses and this is actually an apartment. This is the barbed hook of all things. There's boobs. There's boobs. I got some boobs for you. But <laughs> just not a lot of them. <laughs> oh, the hammies. So yeah, barbed hook. If you have this one, you can do this with it. It's crazy that you can do that kind of thing with it. Um, gotta go clean your real house in Victor Squirrel. Have fun. See you later, Hammy. So let's go to one of Palms, because I love Palms. We'll go to their black, well, black vine and go explore. Actually, what we should do is Tawanto said they have a moon sugar meadow that I should go see, and he... he asked me to go watch it but first we should do this incredible one Chrysia's Misty Grove Old Mistvale Bandit Manor I hope this is the one I think of I'm thinking of the one that she did all of this crazy work on oh goodness a stalker that's not good um wow that's terrible Chrysia, yeah. I, if This actually might be the pumpkin, which is worth seeing, but it's not the one that I thought it was. I'm trying to find... Thanks for the bit, Snowflizz. Okay, she, uh, she redid this entirely. This is Misty Grove Orchard and Chateau, a.k.a. Old Mist Velvet Manor. Holy crap. I don't know about you guys, but this doesn't look anything like... Oh my lord. I don't even know. I don't even know. This is completely different. <laughs> All right. So she's got an apple tree here. But using the seed grapes and just put like little fake apples in them. And so more over here. Apple trees. And then completely redid the walls and the outside to make it more eleanor -y. This is nuts. Just completely different. Thank you so much. I'm having such a bad day. I've got my coffee. So happy. Okay, guys, guys, I got to sh check this out. Freaking lapis lazuli. She made this from scratch. She sunk crystals into the ground and then she took those, you know, those shiny uh, orc metals and she, lit by hand, she put these in to have this intricate design. She would like move it by like two or three pixels and get it. So she made an entire like, this just is amazing to me. This is just, <laughs> you have one in purple? I have two in black because uh, whenever one's in use, the other one goes with my husband and he'll, he'll pick me up coffee sometimes. Or, you know, all the time. But yeah, I mean, this was mind-blowing. And the chandelier is what everybody is freaking out about, but this floor is what was a showstopper for me. I, I couldn't even imagine coming up with this idea. So I, what I think it is is those crown store long big blue crystals you know the tall ones and I think she flipped them on their bottoms and that's that's how she got this lapis look but check out this too her apples her kind of picture of Darian and some of the books are the only she yeah she she did do a lot of cobbling in this one like that's a cobble she put together two mirrors to make a a table that's amazing. Oh, and I and she put the sunk the game into it to give it legs. But that's that's amazing. That's flawless. Uh, 
So yeah, I'm, I don't even want to guess what all of, I actually could probably guess what they all are, but I'm going to just let you guys ogle it for a minute. I mean, that's just spectacular. You know, I didn't notice that she had multiple key blanks. That's what I think those are, the ends of the key blanks. She has like maybe a couple of them around in in a circle. So that's like, that's massive item count eating up mat I item count, but it's a, a super cool effect. It's beautiful. I may steal the idea of the dream shards, but I don't know that I can, I, I can't do this fine work that she does. You know, I don't, I can't work on those fine levels. But backs of paintings um, would be this wall, I'm thinking. I'm thinking of their wall, backs of paintings. I mean, this is just, it's just amazing. This is, oh, okay, so here's a dwarven piece and she stuck a whole bunch of columns in here and made it into a fireplace. I mean, this is just, I can't, I can't even with her. She turns me into a white girl who says, I can't even. So, <laughs> elsewhere, a brick flooring. Oh, here's some, she picked, she did what I tried to show you guys the other day, which is you can pick specific books with EHT. So this would be like, um, you walk in and you wanna read. She wants you to read only one book uh, a specific one, like I, in my orc house, I have a book on orcs that you can pick that way. Well, she wants in, in her, her wine room, I guess, she wants you to read about mead and all that. So it will link you to the actual books that are in the game, but you need eidetic mem memory or, and your reader has to have found this book before. If I hadn't found this book, it would have said it's it's nothing. It wouldn't have given me any information. But yeah, she put cooking books in here. I mean, that's so smart. <laughs> because you would. You would have a cookbook next to you. Donald and Bright Bakes. Just smart. Cute. And really goes with it. She does this with uh, those Merkmeyer candles, you know, the ones in the shell. If you flip them upside down, that's what that looks like. And then she uses pearls, large pearls as dough. So combined, it looks like you're in the middle of, of rolling out dough to make something. And I'm not gonna lie. No. Oh, okay, I figured it out now. That's clever. Do you f figure out what's going on? That's a normal pie, like in the game pie. And then they took she took one of the, um, the elsewhere, er, you know, herb stuff. This was Mistvale. You know those ones with the scoops, the saffron and all that? She buried one in there to make it look like it's got a scoop in, and it's cut a piece out of the apple pie. It's an uneven piece, but somebody pulled out a piece of pie. And that's really smart. That's really cute. Good job. I actually hadn't seen this house yet although she had told invited me to it but i just have been so i don't know i've been so out of it you could actually make bandari mutton stew i have the cookbook one of these days oh you're welcome skeevy you're much welcome let's all build together that's my hope but yeah so all of these are book cookbooks this is so smart Okay, but I can't get over the floor. I could just sit here and talk about the floor all day, but look at the walls even. I mean, she wallpapered, obviously, but that's a really nice wallpaper job. I think those are the Order of the Hour rugs placed overlapping one another. If I had to guess, that's what I think it is. Or, no, I think that's what it is. But I could be wrong, but that's what I think it is. Wow, all of the cobbling in here is insane. So here's a salt lamp, and she put an elsewhere sconce over it flat so that you have it. I love desk lamps. 
This is uh, Chrysea, who does cobbling, like mad cobbling. But she also uses EHT, but what she did in here is cobbling. So this is all hand done. This isn't, you know, an effect here. All of these uh, tiles were hand put. She actually, she actually told me how she made it. And she's like, yeah, and I turned it this way and then I moved it three pixels over and then I moved it, then I turned again this way and I just kept doing that. And I'm like, good God, woman, <laughs> like, how did you do that? <laughs> like, she just gets better with every build that she has. And I mean, this is EHT. So, you know, if she wants a particular book, that's EHT. But all of this other stuff is handmade, you know. I don't know where she gets this talent. I mean, she just grows it, I think. <laughs> All right, so I think I see what's going on here. These are two tables. This is um, the Red Guard fancy table, you know, the one that has the design on it. And she sunk in a Dark Elf table to create entirely new de decorations. That's kind of crazy. Obviously, I, n I never thought to do that. She's got an amazing mind. Um, wow, is that EHT? No. Another fireplace, another fantastical fireplace. Another uh, great chandelier with a Dres Lantern in the center. Because Dres Lanterns are really dim, but they're amazing to use for um, they're amazing to use in other constructions. This is old Miss Fell Manor, believe it or not. Let us go outside so that you can see exactly, this is what, um, old Miss Fell looks like now with, with Chrysaea doing it. Um, old Miss Fell does not normally look like this, folks. <laughs> old Miss Fell looks like a typical frame house, a Nordic frame house with brown front. That's what it looks like. It doesn't look like this in this madness. But I knew you guys would like this house. There's a second floor. Of course there is, right? The house does have a second floor, but I think she, of course, did wallpapering and redid the walls with brick, which makes it warmer, and then added some dark wood and I'm flabbergasted at the creative things. Yeah, no, this one is, okay, like, do, if you're a beginning builder and you think that, that this is normal, trust me, it's not. This is beyond, this is something that, as a very experienced builder, I'm looking at and saying, I never would have thought to do that. So, you know, don't, don't feel bad, because we all, I love my bathrooms, though. This is nice. Um, we all sort of have this opinion about some of the work we see and Chrysa is one of those ones that can just she's just getting crazy good lately um i'm not really sure she's just decided to go with really small builds like detail work not that this is a small build but like really small details and how she's able to do it i don't know but i would like to point out to you that she has hand placed individual books um into yeah it is mine too um into this library's wall so this is really still very much customized and this is the bedroom and uh i'm thinking she used the altar there some planters elsewhere planters and altars and elsewhere lights i use these too these are really lovely um this the stand portion of this lamp is really nice you can bury it into places and use it else in other ways because honestly the light portion is ugly it's got this like frame it's a waste so you should just use that portion of it if you can so that's just nuts let's see she, i saw that she had some sort of gates on the outside so Okay, so this is what I was seeing. This is the gate work that we saw from the up outside. This is one of those masterwork gates. Girl, she's just 
I mean, I could spend a day or an entire whatever on this one house, you know? She's just, oh my God, look at that bed. Oh my God. That is amazing. Hands down, that is the coolest thing I've seen in probably this year. That's incredible. I don't know how she even thought of it. That's beautiful. Like, I want that in real life now. I don't know about you guys, but I would like to have that bed now. Mm. So I'm learning things along with you folks. Oh, and as if that wasn't enough, she also cobbled the walls and made them beautiful. Wow. I love all the freebie statues being used as action figures. Yeah. I did that with one build. I had, um, I had like a toy box and like all of the toys were, all of these were like toys and I had two of them like fighting each other with little sticks and it was cute, but I got rid of it eventually because I needed the house for something else. But this is really incredible. These are, uh, posts, tops of, they're like sign posts, um, which you can use as, as, I guess, windows. But each one of these, so you see this little curly Q here? Each one of those is their own. Go back and click on the statue in the serpent room. You sure it'll work? Because which one? Which one do you want me to click on? You want to see what it is? Because it's not letting me click on anything. The tall one. They're all tall. <laughs> By the window. I don't see it by the chest of drawers. Eventually you'll just have to tell me because I'm too stupid. Is it supposed to do something? Because it won't tell you what it is. Oh, the reliquary? I'm supposed to click on this with the spindle on top. I don't think anything will work if, you mean this thing? So that's the reliquary. Yeah, that's a standard item. Oh, okay, yeah, that's the that's the reliquary. That's um uh, that's something you can get in Deshaun if you finish the Veloth quest. For the longest time, I thought this item would just look like that thing on the floor. You know, when it's broken this piece. I thought it was this. I did not know that it went to, I'm like, who wants this junk? Why would I want this as an achievement? It looks like crap. <laughs> it took me until I think going to somebody's house, I forget who it was, who had it put together. And I was like, oh, it doesn't stay like that. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> I thought it was stupid. <laughs> Anyway, so this house is nutsos. Nutsos in a good way. And I love Chrysia. She is just an amazing person. And so I'm so happy for her that she's gotten to this level of masterful work. Masterful work. And, and we, you know, I suggest you, you know, if you want to come here and, and examine everything, because it's so detailed. Could take all day to just look at everything. But uh, this is her old Miss Vale, and it's an open house. Hey, Cromwell. Um, so you can visit her open house at any time, and it's no problem. Now, we can do a Black Vine Villa. Let's go to Palms. We'll take it a little bit down a notch. Palms is amazing, though. Palms is really good. But I don't think Palms did as much cobbling in her stuff. Palms is really talented. Um, if you want to learn how to make places look really warm and lived in, Palms is your girl. So check out her stuff because it's really good. 
but this is her black vine villa mm. this coffee is helping so much thank you <laughs> i needed that coffee so bad <laughs> okay so here we go first of all i would like you all to know that i resent that we cannot buy willows without spending real money i resent that greatly just say it so palms built a second floor on her black vine with a nice little patio that takes complete and utter advantage of this amazing river view that you probably never knew that black vine villa which is super cheap had if you build up here you can you can you too can have this view of an alien ruin and a beautiful river and all you had to do was just build up a second floor so yeah yes it's, it's, it's very nice and uh i love it and and you know another thing you could do is you could take um items and like furnishings and put them like you you could put them out there on the ruin or something like put a statue on the ruin if you like roll it out there far enough with eht you could put things anywhere and it would be like kind of changing the the area around the house too which is neat but yeah okay so she only did that one side you can build up here too just so you know you could do the same thing but the view isn't the same the view is only really worth it on that one side see you learned something from me it happens so this is palms of bakery now this is a good place to look at considering the upcoming contest that jay hart's holding for a feast or a dish so you have to create a, a single dish of food or an entire feast and so i had put this one aside saying you know oh it's a bakery here's some food we can take a look at and maybe get some ideas for our own spreads when we have to do them so here you go these are um display cases sunken in these are the specimen display cases sunken into one of the um bookcases the Eleanor bookcases this is brilliant and it makes it look like tea and crumpet thank you for the follow um so this makes it look like you're looking into a refrigerated like front of a, of a bakery shelving or whatever you would call them but it's it's really smart and I did not realize that the the specimen one fits so perfectly to make it have glass and no EHT there that's all hand done and this is uh she made her own oven her own little you know brick fire oven uh another one of the using you know we've seen a lot of dwarven fountains as sinks today i think this is like the third or fourth one we've seen not that there's anything wrong with it i'm just pointing out it's interesting that we've seen that many um i don't know what the thief is doing but we know numisma's making stuff and she's putting some a little special something in there too maybe she shouldn't be but she is so yeah so this is this is a good idea for a bakery and this is um a table stunk in sunken into one of the um i call them planters but they're not thanks i appreciate it um these are one of the coffin things i forget what they're called if one of you remembers you tell me but that's what that is um and this is just, I guess, the count sale counter. So, yeah. This is just, it's too cool. It's really clever and we can, you can really work with it if you want to do food stuffs. So that's a good helpful one. That was palms if you want to do something with food. Um, Piomag did a boulder tree. We already saw a boulder tree today though we saw mine let's go to captain margo's um justice plague we'll go to and i wrote down that they made it a desert 
which, as you know, um, Captain Margot's is not a desert. <laughs> Captain Margot's is a single room and kind of a, only worth it because of where it is in relation to the bank and Stormhaven. Um, but we'll see. Maybe they did something amazing with it. I have it, I'm using it as storage right now. And I like to use it when nobody's in Stormhaven and the rare up, rare chance that nobody's in Stormhaven, I'll pop over there through that house. Oh, drink of the gods. It is helping so much. <laughs> I'm still in pain, but I'm a little less miserably in pain. <laughs> I love you guys. Okay, so yeah. This is Justice Plague. They redid... The, in, the inside of Captain Morgos, which is just this. I mean, you see these walls? It's just plaster walls. And they redid it with an entire... Um, I think this was for the DDA Garden Contest, possibly. Um, and they made it into this desert... I don't even know what to call it. Like Eden? Um, using lots of rock to build it up. Now, this is a really smart thing. Okay, let me point this out. They may have done it just to cover the uh, fireplace, but even if they didn't, building up and using the space above the eye, too, is a really good way of keeping of having a really interesting place. Because otherwise, if you're just looking down at everything, it just doesn't look the same. This seems to take over most of the house, like having this second level up here. That's coral or limestone shelf. I forget which. And they're actually using it as a shelf. So this is this is really beautiful. And I like it. Uh, makes me happy. So I just thought this was really pretty. And, and who would have thought, you know? A, a desert in the middle of Stormhaven. But that was Justice Plague. And I'm, I'm going through these fairly quickly, but... Let's do one that's absolutely mind-blowing. Let's do Tulians. And then those of you who have seen it know exactly what I'm talking about. Tulian did an amazing, amazing cold harbor. Um, that's weird. I heard a weird noise out there. Oh, God. So Tulian made a space station. And when I say that, I mean really made a space station, like a mind-blowing sta space station. It was, talk about ambitious builds, right? This one was nuts. I found this before he showed it officially, and I sent him an email, or a game mail. I'm like, this is amazing. This is mind-blowing. Um, I hope he didn't change it. No, okay. Doesn't look like he changed it. So give it a second to load in because there's a ton of effects in here. If you're going to come here, you should definitely have effects on. Otherwise, you're missing so much. But yeah, this is incredible. This is their space station. Um, just for reference sake, that's all handmade. So that's not all effects. This stuff is, is, oh, wait till you get up inside it, Funky. Wait till you get inside it. So they're mining out here. That's what this is supposed to be, is a little mining operation. Uh, and then you can go up and inside. So well, let's go inside. These are Daedric uh, platforms, just linked together reactor access so you take this and you can go over to what they've turned into their reactor so here's the that's a really good use of the of the moon moon portal thingy that's really smart um this is cold harbor water yeah no these are these are great when you it's just so ambitious it's completely different so these are clockwork doors that uh, Cardi turned into windows. So unfortunately, we can't open and close doors in EHT yet. So you have to walk through it. But if you do, suddenly you're in an airlock. 
and then you go inside and you are inside the ship um and we'll i'll go first person for this one because it's it's just it should have it first person level one and this is where you look out into look at these little touches right somebody's girlfriend's picture um so this is supposedly the crew's bedroom and i guess they're watching tv and then you go up this way and this would be where the people i guess are stored um i know isn't that a, such a sweet touch so this is where i guess the people go the cryogenic whatever my bobs i'm not really good at this stuff so i can't really tell you but um so more space looking out on the space but each of these rooms has different they're all fully done so let's start in the galley because the galley i know is cute so we've got a little tube here and this is the galley where they are growing their own food as you would in a hydroponic situation like this but check it out look at the bananas somebody hand put all of those bananas there to make it look like a banana tree, like an actual banana tree. And, and it's just so realistic. It's just beautifully done and like little grapes and everything. So this isn't just an amazing, you know, EHT build. This is an amazing combination build. So operations was the first one. And I don't really know what operations should look like, but I'm guessing this would be <laughs> the pods are cool um so this would be i guess the captain's quarters operations who knows yeah somebody knows what they're doing with their ship way better than i do uh because i don't really understand it medical and so tithis is the med medical guy Check that out. How smart is that? Using the, the scary stuff as an actual medical thing, it works. It's not scary. It's medical. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I never thought to do that because that would be like smart and I'm not really that smart. So I love this. This is all so well done. Okay. I know it keeps going too. I just want to make sure I hit everything. Galley got that. Operations got that. All right, now we go up again. Authorized personnel. I'm not authorized, but I'm going to go up anyway. And here we are. We are able to view everything from up top. I guess this is this would be where the captain sits, right? So yeah, this is the captain's place, um, where you steer your giant ship. And I could swear that you could go out on something, but I forget which thing. I forget. But in any event, that is Tulian's incredible build. That is just a beautiful melding of both EHT and regular building. And I think it's it just superb. You can't get better than this. You really can't. Um, some people have problems with EHT, but when, when they do, I like to point them to builds like this and say, this would not have been possible, not within the item count. It wouldn't have been possible to make without EHT, but it still takes a lot of creativity. So I love this house. And I'm glad I got to share it with you guys. Uh, this has got to be in the top 10 houses of all time. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's definitely got to be up there. Um, let's go to Cyrodiilic. Tulian. T-U-L-I-E-N. Um, let's go to me having a terrible pain. Cool monster, Iris 56, Cyrodiilic. All right, so yeah, this is Tulian. It's an entire space station. Because of course it is. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> the things people 
come up with. It's amazing. People's creativity just have no bounds. No, they have a few more items left they could put in. Oh God, kill me now. But this is so much fun. Oh. So Sierra Del Jungle House is a great house to have because A, it's cheap. And B, because it's right outside of Bandari, which is an underrated shopping area. If you like deals, stick to the, uh, go to Bandari. You should go there and shop because there's like five different shops in one area and some of them are really good for deals. So this is uh, Iris 56 and they built a monster. Made their house a monster. Talk about creativity. It's a three, you know what I think it is? What's that three-headed dog? Cer Cerbi Cerebus? Cer Cereb, whatever. I think that's what this is. But it's pretty creative. I love it. It's really smart. Um, Cerberus, right? So I'm probably saying it wrong. But those are like little hands, the Daedric Rock. Yeah, they are really cute, aren't they? I don't think this was in our monster contest. I think this was probably prior to or a different contest, but I didn't see like, <laughs> I didn't see anything like this. <coughs> so this is fun. Oh, look at the baby. <laughs> it's got a baby monster. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I can't yeah, I'm sorry I just thought that was hilarious and cute okay it's so cute though okay uh, we'll go back to Daggerfall some other time excuse me oh my neck did you guys, oh, I'll show you this. Because it's something that my hu husband was able to recognize, but I was not. I want you guys to see, if you don't already know, don't spoil it. If you already know, don't spoil it. But if you don't, I would like to see who, which of you can guess this first, what this is. Um, yeah. So don't, don't give it away if you don't, if you know. Ah! But I went and I visited this place and I had no idea what it was. And I'm walking around and my husband's on the phone and he's standing behind me and he looks over and he goes, oh my God, that's this. And I'm like, huh? And he's like, no, it's, it, it's, it's identical. It is exactly this. And I say, okay, I'll take your word for it. And I didn't recognize it at all, but you guys probably will get it because you're smarter than me. And I, I guess more culturally aware because I, I don't follow a lot of pop culture stuff, so I wouldn't have gotten this. So PBO's lady. I may also add that I'm super impressed that uh, a woman did this. And I'm not saying that in a sexist way. I'm saying this. Oh, I went the wrong way. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Gotta go back. Um, I'm saying that in a way of, you know, girls aren't really usually encouraged to uh, do these kinds of pop culture things. I'm sorry, guys. We're going to have to sit there through another loading screen because I'm a moron. <sighs> but that's, you know, how I roll moronically. All right. Hub. Sorry. You'll have to forgive me. Well, you don't have to, but you should. Because I'm nice. I love that name, T and Crumpet. I've never, I don't think I've ever had a Crumpet. I'm not even sure what a Crumpet is. I guess I kind of picture bugles. You know, those little bugle chips. I, w I guess because of this, it's like trumpet. So I guess 
I always thought of crumpets, like trumpets, like little. Never mind, I'm insane. It's one of those days where I'm just not making any sense. <laughs> Is that a crumpet? A little heart? I don't know what a crumpet looks like. I should just Google it and stop being such an idiot. Wow, did I just get completely ported to somewhere strange? Why do I have this second loading? S I shouldn't have this loading screen. <laughs> this loading screen is for the Thieves Guild. I'm sort of worried now. Are we having issues on the server? I knew it when I saw that. I was like, uh, this isn't good. This isn't good, folks. Oh, and I'm already logged in. Of course I am. All right, so let's call it. Uh, I'll give you a heads up. It was a, it was the bad cave. And uh, this is a good time to end anyway. So I should take some meds. But I love you guys. Thanks for cheering me up today. You made me so happy. And we'll go through some more of these. Um, I have more spectacular stuff for you to look at in, in the future. So don't worry about it. And there's plenty more to look at. Because people are brilliant and they keep on doing things. So I will love you guys a long time. No, just kidding. Love you guys. I'll see you in game. All right.